Sorry, I had to cut away. I had a visitor. Anyway, um, so he's going to get a couple of doses of Batril. Now, here's how we're going to do this. Uh, Ralph, Ralph Davis actually has a really, really good video on how to dose an animal with Batril. I'm going to try and duplicate that, but I'm going to go a little slower than he did. They have a real nice piece of, uh, I don't want to call it meat, but they have a real nice piece of uh, muscle. If this is the spine here, this is the rib cage here, they have this nice little piece of muscle right in, right in this area here. Okay? That's where you want to give the injection. Okay, is right in the is right in this area, not not up too high. This is the spine, this is the ridge of the back, not down too low, but right somewhere in this general vicinity up the body. Now you want I've had veterinarians that have told me to do it posterior or lower third, and I've had veterinarians tell me to give it upper third. Snakes metabolisms are very, very slow. And so it makes sense that you would want to give it in the upper half of the body as to make sure that the heart transports it down. Okay? So what I've got here is I've got 0.2 mils. Let me see if I can show this to you. I've got 0.2 mils of Batril. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take the, uh, take the syringe off. Take, take, the, uh, take the cap off the syringe like so. And I keep these syringes on hand, so let me just tell you. Uh, and it's not because I, I have a lot of sick animals, uh, but it's, it's just because, it, it's just because, you know, you, you have stuff like this happen, I don't want to have to make an appointment with my vet. I want to be able to dose my animal. Go ahead and get it started on something. Go ahead and get it treated. You know, I've got suture kits back here. I've got all kind of stuff in this room so that I can handle any kind of first aid I need for my animal. So what we've got here is we've got 25 gauge by 5 eighths. 25 gauge is the, uh, the thickness of the needle, the actual width of the needle. 5 eighths is 5 eighths of an inch long. Okay, so what we've got, this is, this is, I've got a box of a hundred of these things. Okay, uh, these came from my vet because I, I, I had to order some more bait while I ran out uh, last year and I, I haven't ordered any more this year. And this is actually the first, uh, it's actually the first snake I've had to treat with anything uh, in, God, over a year. So. Here's how we're going to give the injection. I, if you can't see it, I'm sorry, but I have to be able to watch. So, right up here in the shoulder of the animal, and I'm going to do this quick. Right up here in this, uh, this shoulder of the animal, we're going to go underneath the scale. We're going to go in between the scale. And we're just going... Go ahead, push the injectable in. I'm going to keep my finger right there. Right? There might be a little bit of something leak out, maybe a little blood, maybe a little antibiotic. And that's all there is to it. And as you can see, he got the full dose. Now, one thing I did mean to mention, and what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to look at this guy's face a little, a little closer. His face was so swollen up earlier this week that his eye was actually almost sunk in. But he's looking a lot better. This is actually the second round of Batril. Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't want to stress him out too much by looking at this. Uh, because they're very stress-oriented animals and because of that uh, you know anytime there's a trauma or something uh, you don't want to stress them out too much now the one thing that I didn't show you that I'll show you just with some water uh, 
If your doctor ever has to give you, if your veterinarian, oh, one thing about these. Make sure that when you dispose of these things, you separate the cap from the actual syringe. You want to throw the needle away one day, the syringe away the next day. Okay? Now your vets are going to tell you to throw these things away. Uh, you know, don't actually throw them away. Bring them back to me. Um, and that's just because there are a lot of unscrupulous people out there that can use this uh, for drugs. Uh, this is actually, a, 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 I had a friend of mine who's a DEA agent here in the county uh, tell me that this is actually the size that they most often find on uh, uh, heroin addicts is, is this little small 1cc uh, 25 by 5 8 uh, needle. So we're going to throw these away at a separate time. I always throw the needle away first and then the syringe. So now <clears throat> I've got some water here and I'm going to show you how to do this because I didn't do it. I did it before I actually started shooting this video. What you've got when you get your needle You got this. This is how it comes. See? With meds, without. So this is how it comes. And your doctor, he draws up the injectable solution. Okay? This is just water, but we're just going to pretend. Okay? So he draws up the injectable solution. One of the things they do not do is they, they don't prime the syringe. So all you want to do to prime the syringe is you see how it's got this air bubble here at the top, you go injecting that air bubble underneath the skin of an animal, you're going to cause a lot of pain and you're going to cause a lot of problems. Okay? So what you want to do is, is you want to give, you want to make sure all your solution is down to the bottom. And by doing that, you're just going to give it a little, what they call a pluck or, you know, you just kind of vibrate it because you get some solution caught up in this cap, you're going to squirt a lot of solution out the end. Okay? Then all you're going to do, See that solution that was stuck up there? You're just going to push until there's no more air that you can see and until just a little bit of med squirts out. So, I, I mean, minute, like this. Okay? Not even really enough to, to matter. Okay? That's a syringe that's primed. That's a syringe that you can now inject into an animal. Okay? How to do an injection this is going to be a two-part video. So I'm going to pause this here.